so in the derivation of stress equation in case of curved beam okay so we having one curved beam over here as we can see over here we having centroidal axis black and neutral axis red okay they are not coinciding with each other as it is a curved beam okay now this distance this is uppermost fiber and i'm considering this as lowermost fiber okay now this beam having cross section area is a a is a cross section of there if you cut from this side and you are going to see from this side you will see this cross section okay there is mb that is bending moment we know the pure bending theory okay or curved beam only pure bending is applicable no other stress okay so here we are applying bending that is mb then area is cross section area a now this o it is nothing but initial center of curvature so this is center of curvature before applying this bending moment after applying this bending moment it will change so this is initial center of curvature before applying the bending moment now distance of neutral axis from this o that is initial center of curvature is called as radius of curvature of neutral axis and we denote it as rn okay similarly this is lowermost fiber so ri or inner fiber we can call it lowermost or inner fiber fiber and the radius we will call it as we will call it as ri that is inner radius of curvature of beam similarly for this this is outermost fiber and it is ro this ro ro and we will call it as outer radius of curvature of beam okay similarly for centroidal axis it will be rc this one is rc and it is for centroidal axis okay radius of radius of centroidal axis you can call it rc or you can just call it r okay rc or r all right now what is this ho is distance of outermost fiber from neutral axis we will call it as ho similarly distance of lowermost fiber from neutral axis is hi okay for curved beam the neutral axis is the neutral axis is in curved shape and there is no stress on uppermost and lowermost fiber when there is no application of force or bending moment but in case of straight beam when it is in bended condition there is tension and compression present but for curved beam there is no tension and compression when there is no external load is applied okay when the when we will apply this bending moment when we apply this bending moment it will cause compression in uppermost fiber okay outer fiber and tension in lower most fiber or inner fiber okay so this p now it's p it will applicable after applying this bending moment this fiber the upper or neutral axis the material or the layers above the neutral axis will be in compression and layers below the neutral axis will be in tension okay now this difference between two centroidal axis we will call it as e eccentricity just uh, remember i am not mentioning over here but it is a eccentricity there is a difference between this uh, centroidal axis and neutral axis we will call it as eccentricity now we will move to the derivation okay hopefully you are knowing the diagram okay now i am considering i am considering the area a b c d okay now this abcd area is making angle theta with the initial center of curvature okay this abcd is making an angle theta with center of curvature okay before applying the bending moment okay after applying this bending moment just analyze this dc fiber after applying the bending moment this c will try to move this c will try to move this side whether this d will try to move this side okay after applying the bending moment just x amount of bending moment we applied on this beam then this c move to f and d move to g so we can we can say 
that after applying the bending movement the fiber CD rotates and make an angle D theta make an angle D theta and take new position G and F or F and G all right now consider a fiber dy i'm just considering this fiber of thickness dy okay which is which is having distance of y from neutral axis which is having distance of y from neutral axis i'm considering this fiber small area or small fiber which is at the distance of y from neutral axis and y plus rn from initial curvature okay okay now what will be the area so this whole beam is having area a so we can say this fiber is having area delta a okay now what is the original length of this dy if i want to find the length of this fiber dy okay or thickness dy okay the original length of this fiber is we know that if you want to know the fiber uh, length of le uh, length of this ed then it will be nothing but theta into radius similarly for this it will be theta into this radius so it will be theta plus this distance that is nothing but rn plus y so theta into rn plus y 